What up, motherfuckers? Mr. Mad up in this bitch. Coming at you uh, pre-recorded as usual. Uh, today, I'm pretty late to the game with this, but uh, there's a new jailbreak uh, that just came out. So I had to go to the fucking Apple store and buy a brand new fucking phone just so I could do this fucking jailbreak. Because I didn't want to uh, use my, my, my regular phone, my 6 Plus or whatever. Uh, so I went and got the 6S Plus. Because I didn't want to update from my original firmware, so I went out and spent a lot of fucking money on this fucking phone. So anyways, yeah, brand new jailbreak, brand new phone. Fuck it, take my trusty knife that's not so sharp and uh, pop this fucking seal on this bitch. So, oh, that's so fucking satisfying. You have no idea right now. Usually they do this for you at the store, but I just bought the phone flat out. Like, I didn't even fucking... Uh, get a contract or none of that bullshit because with AT&T now um, hold on uh, oh my god this is like oh my god that was like that was like the best thing I've ever fucking did in my life um, yeah with AT&T you don't you don't you can't renew with the two-year shit you can't get the discount on the shit so now you just gotta buy the fucking phones flat out kind of sucks but whatever I don't give a fuck so um, this is stock and I don't know what OS this is running, but this new jailbreak, you can do it directly from the fucking mobile. Look at this. This is so fucking satisfying. This is, oh, that's the best feeling in life. So I'm going to power this bitch up. We're going to start up with this, um, see, see what firmware we're on. If, uh, I think you can jailbreak pretty much anything right now. Uh, from like 9.2, I think, to like the current one, which is 9.33. Uh, pretty much I'm just going to fucking update to 9.33. If it's not already here, I'm gonna see. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. Uh, I'll probably just cut all this shit out. Well, all right, that was a fucking nightmare, but uh, I got this shit running to put a SIM card in it, even though I'm on Wi Fi. I don't understand that, but whatever. Uh, so we're gonna go into settings here and uh, general and about. And uh, if you see, we're running 9.1. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and update um, probably through Wi Fi. We're going to see that the newest OS is 9.33. So we're going to go ahead and install that shit. Just so we see that 9.33 is going to be the jailbroken um, OS. But it can I think it can be from 9.2 and up. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll I'll put it in the description or whatever um, once I find that, that out. But uh, I'm just going to fast forward through this shit so you don't have to sit here and watch me install this fucking OS update. Um... And we'll get back after this. All right, so I finally installed the update, which is like fucking 13. Oh my God, it's still. All right, well, let's fast forward this shit too. All right, so we got the hello screen. I don't know what, what it's doing right now. Uh, it updated, it took about 15, I don't know, 14, 13 minutes, some shit like that. Uh, I don't know what it's doing. It seems like, oh, it's all right. So we'll swipe. Update completed. Phone was updated. I'm so drunk right now. Successfully, there are a few more steps. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to do that. Uh, continue. I don't want to do that either. Don't add a passcode. Pretty fucking sure. All right, get started. All right. Now, finally, after fucking uh, 15 minutes or so, we are on iOS 9.33. I don't know what the 13G34 is. I'm hoping it has nothing to do with anything uh, or this jailbreak or whatever. All right, so a uh, small hitch in our plans here. Uh, the app that you were able to jailbreak uh, with strictly from the mobile browser has got... Um, 
their certification revoked from Apple. So now you got to do this shit through the computer. Uh, so that kind of kills this whole video, I guess. But either way, I'm still going to jailbreak the fuck out of this shit out of spite. You know what I mean? So um, I'm going to just grab my laptop and um, close this shit up. And I apologize for uh, this ambient noise. Uh, it's my air conditioner. It's way too fucking hot in this uh, house. So I don't feel like uh, sweating to death. So we're just going to go ahead and um, go to this website. Jail break dot 25 pp dot cock slash pp jailbreak slash question mark from equals 25 pp underscore 00119 and it's all in chinese or whatever but anyways it's the um pangu i guess site and uh yeah fuck it why not why, why not translate it let's see all right so Go down here, click this shit, wait for it to download, take a few minutes, uh, so we'll skip through this and uh, we'll meet you back up on the um, desktop once this shit is loaded. Alright, so we got this shit downloaded here, PP Helper, I guess it helps with your PP. PP, no, all right. Um, so you're gonna launch this shit. Matter of fact, I think I was supposed to launch it as um, administrator, run as administrator. All right, apparently it's gonna take a little bit, I guess. Um, just click this button or whatever. And it's gonna install, or do whatever the fuck is gonna do. All right now that that's ready, you get your uh, phone. Now uh, that's all plugged in, click this green button here, and then it's gonna do its thing. Set this off to the side. Uh, firewall, block some features, uh, allow access, I guess. All right, once we got this plugged in and we got this installed here, we're gonna uh, press this button here and continue. And I guess trust the computer. Gonna hit this button here and it's gonna start doing the I guess code injection or whatever it does uh, and then you're gonna come here to general settings so I'm gonna hit this fucking green button again and basically while it's doing its thing you're gonna wait till uh, the certificates things pop up here we'll give it some time when that thing is uh, done doing what it's doing. All right, then you have, enter the CAPTCHA right here. And uh, this part is gonna take a little while, I guess. Uh, it's something about the certificates, you know, uh, that need to be signed or whatever, to, so they can make that app that uh, ends up on your home screen, um, which that app lasts, I think I heard a year, something like that. Um, so within a year, you're gonna have to like re-jailbreak the, the thing which is kind of what happened with the uh, mobile only jailbreak, they, the app certificate got revoked or whatever. So that's why even if you try to relaunch the app, you don't have your jailbreak or whatever. It's kind of stupid, but. All right, let this thing install. We'll get back over here when it happens. All right, so the uh, happy thing popped up. If you see on here, you're gonna see the device management so he's gonna have to uh, go there and trust it, hit trust, and then uh, go back to your home screen. You're gonna see the jailbreak app. So you do this, hit yes for notifications as part of this thing here, this jailbreak. Hit the circle and lock your screen. And then it's gonna pop up a little thing right here. And that's the jailbreak. Um, look at it if you want it's installing Cydia at the moment so I'll let it do its thing I think it's gonna respring or reboot um, and then we'll we'll get back on the uh, yeah see then we'll get back on the uh, home screen here so just resprung no sim card yeah I know that and bam we got Cydia so with Cydia you know you could do all the get all your uh, jailbreak tweaks and whatnot um, the one thing you're gonna want to do right away there's this thing called Apple File Conduit 2. For whatever reason, it wasn't uh, installed. 
So you're gonna wanna install this. Uh, this is part of the jailbreak as well that for some reason it just wasn't uh, added. Uh, it takes a few seconds. Might reboot, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, this is basically uh, you know some good protection and shit for your phone. Uh, you get the safe mode in case any tweaks fail, you know, um, it'll reboot into a safe mode. You could uh, disable tweaks or whatever from that point. Um, so it's basically a little pr protection for your for your jailbreaks. So now reboots or resprings, resprings, and then uh, here we are. I know no SIM card installed. So you got your jailbreak, you got your uh, Cydia, and uh, that's it. Uh, we're in Cydia. Um, one of the first things I like to get is a terminal. Uh, I'm gonna do iOS terminal from the big boss uh, repo. Uh, just install that, that way we could change our root password, we could change our uh, mobile password or whatever it is. Uh, so let it install. Might take a little second here. Return to Cydia. Uh, then we can get into this uh, changes no, installed. Uh, get rid of this PP jailbreak thing. It's kind of like I don't know an app store, I guess, in Chinese. So you, I mean, unless you know Chinese, you're really not gonna use it. It's just an extra icon on your um, home screen that you don't really need. So um, yeah. So let's go to our home screen. You can see uh, I might want to get rid of one of these, but terminals up. So. Uh, looks kind of weird, but uh, let's see, Su Root. Enter. Password is going to be Alpine. So now you got root access, you can change your uh, root password, you could change your uh, you know, mobile password and all that stuff. So, uh, Other than that, the only real thing about this jailbreak is um, every time you reboot or uh, your battery dies or something like that, you got to uh, kind of re jailbreak it, uh, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But uh, we're just gonna go through that real quick. So I'm gonna shut this phone off and I'll show you what that's about. So now that the phone is starting back up, um, you're gonna notice that when once it gets into the home screen, it's not gonna let you um, use Cydia or anything that you have installed from Cydia, like the let's say terminal or you know if you got tweaks installed or whatever you're just gonna have to redo it but it's not gonna take as long as the first time uh, it's just gonna be some quick shit um, so see if you try to launch terminal it doesn't work try to launch city it doesn't work so you have to um, hit OK click that turn the power off and from here you're back on your jailbroken um, iOS. So see how it works now. Terminal works, and any tweaks that you may have installed will also work. So uh, let, let me see. I'm gonna install like Zeppelin or something if they got it because that's something you can uh, you could try out real quick, I guess. So hit install. So Zeppelin is the one where you can kind of like customize your the carrier name or whatever. So if you want to put like your name or some other bullshit, you know, you could do that. Sometimes I think they give you choices for icons and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Eh, you know, little stupid tweak, but it's whatever. Yeah, so you got Batman up there now. I don't know if you can see that. Someone's got the Batman tweak or whatever. So that, that's also a good um, indicator of whether or not you're in jailbroken. And if you have something like that, you know, you can go into the settings um, for that and change it to whatever the hell you want. Anyways, you just fuck with it. Um, but that's basically your jailbreak right there. A lot of shit's probably not working as good as it could be right now because uh, it is fucking new, pretty new. I mean, even though I'm kind of late to the game as far as... Um, this goes, this has got that. All right, so it's been a couple uh, hours that I've been messing around with this thing. Uh, just to show you a couple of the things at the last minute here. 
Um, I got spring to my eyes, so it's kind of, you know, like a little animated thing. You get more icons on your shit, you know. I, I just downloaded little things that I like. Um, files as like a little file browser. Uh, you can get into like the actual, um, you know, browser shit of your, I mean, the uh, actual file system of your uh, phone, you know, there's documents, whatever. You, there, there's little things you can fuck with that. Uh, it's good for like installing apps and things like that. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, Flex Tool is good for making patches. Uh, oh, I got my uh, firewall enabled, so if if you know an app is trying to contact anything outgoing, you could deny it, which I usually do because I don't need my apps talking to the home servers or whatever. But with Flex, you can make patches and shit for. Uh, anything really any app uh, you could change values like let's say Safari has an eight page limit or whatever you can change that um, so that's that's the flex uh, firewall is the firewall thing that d enables enables disables what the fuck am I saying uh, outbound connection spring to my is more just like for this shit and to customize everything and there's, there's a couple other things like um, cuz this is the bigger phone so like I like my keyboard uh, sometimes to the right or left, you know what I mean? So I could do one-handed operation uh, as opposed to the bigger keyboard, which is kind of hard to reach. Um, so you, there's always that. That's pretty cool. Uh, a couple other tweaks, you know, uh, like you could respring from here. That's a control center thing. Uh, some more options for your control center. A bunch of shit. But th these are just a couple of the things that, I don't know what spring to my those fucks up right here, but just a couple of the things that I like adding. But just so to show you that, yeah, it's jailbroken. Some of the tweaks work. They're not 100%. Um, but, you know, you are on 9.33, which is the latest um, update right now. So, or the latest iOS. So, it's fucking cool, man. Because it's been a while since we've seen a jailbreak. And, you know, even though it's an untethered one, you know, it's pretty good for what it is. I really despise this fucking thing. I should just stick with barrel. But, anyways, um, that's the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any comments, I mean, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. I'll, you know, I'll try and get back to you. See, you know, if you have any questions or anything about what's popping. And uh, that's it, man. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks. Peace.